you and Dhoni had to be. I mean, clearly when Raina was captaining, you mentioned that and that whole CSK piece there and that you do talk about in detail, by the way, in the book. And I find that fascinating when you came and those important matches in the IPL, 4-13, two, two wickets, etc. Can, just get me a little bit more. I mean, you and Dhoni is another fascinating CSK, very local, Madrasi, etc. love affair. Tell me that. See, I think Dhoni, right, uh, the first one year, he didn't know that I existed. I don't think he knew or maybe he knew and he didn't he didn't really, you know, make… Uh, that's Dhoni. Uh, I've known him for uh, almost, what, 15, 16, 17 years, like at a close quarters. And uh, with him, uh, I felt what he was in 2008-9 is exactly how he operates till 2024. That is fascinating for me and it is it is not an ordinary thing because uh, I remember that game in 2010 where uh, he gets hit by Shane Bond in his arm, right? I, I think at uh, Eden Gardens. Uh, I get a wicket, I get Shane Bond out in that game but he gets hit on his arm and he goes out of the side. Uh, but I, I have begun the IPL reasonably well. This is, this is supposedly going to be my first full year in the IPL. And he goes out and Rana leads the side. I think they both have probably slightly different views in terms of how they handle, uh, you know, people. I don't bowl inside the power play, uh, you know, I bowl slightly later because we have Murli Dharan and I are playing in the same team and I end up bowling death in Bangalore. Uh, I haven't had a good time. I've, I've let down the team in three occasions then after Dhoni leaves. But as soon as Dhoni comes back to captain the side, he picks up the puzzle where he leaves. He, I think I'm almost certain he calls and says, I want that guy back. I come back and he again uses me with the new ball because I, he uses me inside the power play with the new ball for against Adam Gilchrist and I get Adam Gilchrist out in Chennai. And he uses me again in those same roles and continues to use me, use me like that for several years to follow. He uses me inside power play, he uses me inside the batting power play, even when I play for India. So, I think that's quite a fascinating uh, sort of a belief that he had and he, keep, he kept it very simple when he told me things. He always said, your greatest thing, thing uh, greatest strength is to try new things. Is to try, is trying to be funky. So don't change that for anybody else. <laughs> like I think I told it in that book launch also. I was 35. I met him, met him in the, in Dubai after that game over for day, I was playing for Delhi against CSK. And I asked him, well, how do you find I built that? You know, I've developed that back spinner. I said, Ash, you always that's been your strength. Remember, you continue to be funky. Remember, you continue to work on your know, variations. I'm like, this is what he told me 15 years ago. The man continues to say the same thing. <laughs> and then, like, after a brief pause, he tells me again, you know what? I know what you're thinking, but that is your strength. Whatever it is for me, that will always remain your strength. So keep being funky, keep expressing yourself. And, you know, that, that kind of, you know, uh, maybe it's not just the cricket that he sees. He sees the, you know, more uh, sort of a mental strength side of things or the mental aptitude side of things. Maybe he's able to pick that on cricketers. And I find that he did that with Tushar Deshpande also uh, for CSK. So he continues to do that. Uh, he continues to pick people who are good in certain roles and fills them in.